Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Brotator doing suggestions from the comments section. Today's is from the QP check, and it is a high XP run. We're going to be trying to go for all experience gain items that we can find and focus in on just leveling up like an RPG character uh, more so. Less a little bit on the equipment. So what do we want to do to make that happen? Like, obviously, SMG's busted. It's very good. We could win with it. Uh, knife is very good. We could win with it. There's, like, a lot of really strong stuff. Um... What needs a little bit of help, but is otherwise, like, fine? I mean, shotgun's good, but not busted. Pistol, you know, I feel like the pistol is a really good weapon to test this out with. Especially if we are not going to be going too heavy on items. Like, I'm not going to say I'm not going to pick up good items. Like, that feels stupid, but... Uh, the pistol's fine. Like, it's, it's the Mario... <laughs> I'm not sure that I was gonna say this uh, at any point but yes the pistol is kind of the mario of this game in the sense that oh god uh you yeah, know it's kind of basic nothing crazy nothing too weak about it either it's just it's there it does its thing it, it's exactly what you need it to be but we'll probably do a little bit of hyper rolling just to get six pistols i think it's a good it's a good testing weapon like We'll try out something else a little bit spicier, either either weaker or stronger after this in the event that it works. But I think it's a good it's a good baseline weapon. Like guns are generally pretty darn good in this. They're just this they're strong. Uh, so it feels it feels like a good test. 99% of the time. Alright, range damage, elemental damage. Uh, it's a little bit of an on the fence moment for me, but sure, sure, we'll take that. And I, here's the thing. I'm going to go with a little bit of luck early. We, we've kind of done this build before in a way uh, where shop prices are 50% more expensive. So obviously it's just getting a little bit untenable to re-roll and buy stuff there. But yeah, we've done this in a way where we went all luck on mutant before. And it was really, really strong. Like, I don't want to just do the exact same thing again. Because, you know, we've done it before. Like, keep varieties, spice of life, all of that. Uh, but I'm not going to not take any luck either, because I, I do know that it's just very effective. Because here's the thing about this run that I think will make it surprisingly better than you would maybe think. Tunneling in on just experience. A rare stat upgrade from leveling up doesn't cost any more money. I guess I'll, I mean, I'll take it because it's there. Does not cost any more money than any other upgrade there. That's the thing. Uh, I think Cyclops Worm is incredible for this, but again, not going to really focus too much on it. I, I will, you know, if Piercing shows up, if Ricochet shows up and I somehow have the ability to pay for it, I, I will probably take it, but... I don't know how realistic that's going to be, being able to see something like that and afford it. Seems a little far-fetched to me. But anyways, it's not really the spirit of the run anyways to be carried by another ricochet, uh, piercing, whatever, son of a gun, regardless. Um, oh, another I wanted to mention, before, before we get too far in and... Viewer attention drops off too much. I want to talk about a cool development in the Brotato modding scene. Uh, for anybody potentially interested in making mods who has, like, a very small baseline of coding experience, Jonas made the, the person who made the uh, wonderful Retromation character mod. Obviously, we're taking that. Uh, made a tutorial video on how to mod Brotato yourself. So, if that is of interest to you, I will try and link that at the top of the description. If I... If I forget to, I definitely will have still kept Jonas's channel from before because I would have forgotten to take it out on the non-relevant video because it's not modded right now. You know, it's still probably there. So go check that out. And uh, please, if you have any mods that, you know, got a little bit of depth to them, a little bit of something new, that's not just, hey, I made a character that's really busted. Look how... Oh, it's a guy, but he has 10,000 damage. Do you want to play this? No, I don't. But if you have anything like a little bit creative, a little bit spicy, a little bit interesting, um, I would love to play any mods you make that, you know, are realistically, they just got a little, little bit of, 
I don't know, a little bit of prep behind them, a little bit of slight gentle polish. I'm, it don't need to be crazy or anything, but if you got them, let me know. Let me know about them, and we'll see what we can do. But it's just a very neat development. It's something that I, like I might even get, I might get into. I might try and uh, do a little mod mod myself. Do I take this? 2% speed down. I'm really running low on speed. Uh, crit chance. Absolutely. Range damage. Absolutely. Crit chance. Absolutely. This is going very well. All of a sudden, we have 24% crit chance. Out of nowhere. Um, EXP up is obviously what we're looking for. <laughs> like, I guess I could take a rocket launcher. <laughs> I guess I could. Should I? I'd, uh, I'd, I don't... <laughs> Fine. Like, it's not a six pistol run. Like, there's no requirement. There's no requirement to this build. Like, I'll just... I will just also take a rocket launcher, which is a good but not, like, busted weapon unless I can get it to epic. If I can make it epic, then it's pretty fundamentally busted. Otherwise, it's just really good. Is just a really good weapon that can become absurd. The epic, the, the difference between the epic and the blue version we saw on the, the all rocket launcher run, or the attempted all rocket launcher run, um, it made a world of difference. Or I think that was on the one armed. Like we just got that one upgrade, and then suddenly everything went from being very difficult to being completely mindless. We could have just walked around, or we could have stood still, killed, anything like that. Going from a very difficult run into a very easy one. So, yeah. I mean, I'm just, so far, so fine. Like, what's my luck like? Eh. I think it's gonna go further for me than the uh, the amount of money, I can tell you that. Reroll. Ho! Oh! Attack speed huge. I don't have any regeneration right now, but eh, it's fine. Another rocket launcher. I did just say, I mean, I'm not getting any experience things to show up, uh, which is obviously a bummer, but like mutant is just proving to be quite solid right now. Like we will do another run after this regardless and we will see uh, what's going on. So if we, if we win, we'll be back immediately to try out and hopefully get a little bit more experience upgrades on the, whoop, on the shop. That being said, this is, this is nice. I don't know, it, this is just, this is just a nice vibe of a run. I feel like I am quite strong, just like a little bit of luck goes a long way with this character. Not having to shell out 6,000 bucks to pick up the epic attack speed upgrade or the epic crit upgrade is huge. You know, that makes a world of a difference. I do hate how spread out all of our money is. It makes it really hard to go and pick it all up, but what are you gonna do? Three percent crit chance is really all that is. Uh, I'll take the damage up. I will take the life steal up. I will take the freaking rocket launcher epic upgrade. Um, I'm gonna just roll one more time. Really, no experience anywhere. Scar is, I think, is that the one I'm thinking of? My God. Yeah, we're we're blowing stuff up. Oh, this is just this is just a nice run right now. That's what this is. This is just... I'm having a nice run with the mutants. My boy, the mutant. We do have full common uh, pistols. And they're doing... They're doing some pretty good work. It's it's hard to tell, like, to an extent what's coming from Rocket Launcher, what's coming from the pistols, but... I... The little time in between each rocket, we're still doing lots of work. Surprisingly high amount of... What the, how did I not get hit there? How did I not get hit there? Thank you, but how? Surprising amount of work from the pistols, okay? That's, you, you, get it, got it good. All right. Sure, like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna not take it. Just, just cuz. Sure. 
There we go. I'm going to roll one more time, see if we can... Yeah, I'll take another coffee. Yeah, it's not that scope is bad. Like, it's not that any of this stuff is bad. I probably even rolled past pistols because I'm trying so desperately to get... To just have found one of these uh, XP up items. All right, all right. Pickup radius would be really, really nice on this, this run, too, since uh, the experience is extra crucial. The rocket launcher pierce. It does, right? It, it's doing some kind of... It's doing something. It's doing some kind of piercing. I can't quite tell. It's one of the ones that I had not been so sure how it would uh, interact with piercing earlier. We know Taser does, and that one I would was less confident because of the way that it functions. So, hey, I bet it do in some capacity, right? Not that it needs to. Look at this. This is dumb. Go, go, go. My God. Yes, please. I'm at negative speed, so it seems like a good idea there. Fine. Huh? It's because I have a heavy weapon already. I'm going to do one more reroll, even though, like, I know it's there. Cool. Hip. Fine. Yes. Nice. But that's not what I'm here for. It's not what I'm here for. I'm here just trying to see how silly strong we can get predominantly from the uh, from the stats. And I would say that... I would say this is proving very firmly that stats are fantastic. <laughs> like, going for a largely stat angle. Because, obviously, yes, we have the rocket launcher, which is doing really good damage. But it's doing good damage, and it's attacking as often as it is, and it uh, is critting as often as it is, as it is because of the obscene amount of stats we've been able to uh, pick up from leveling. So, all in all, like, as good as a weapon is, you do need stats to make it work. And we got those stats from, from the XP. Which, again, is, has predominantly been just like a hey, I'm the mutant and this is what I do kind of a thing, but... Absolutely. Absolutely. It's so expensive, man. 446? <laughs> if I really wanted to ruin things. Uh, oh, God. Why are you making me do it? Bean Teacher is the best thing for this in the game, obviously, to, like, for this specific setup. Uh, we'd have to get rid of all but one pistol. <laughs> oh, God. Do we do it for the science? I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Let's go. This will be extraordinarily telling. Will it not? This will be extraordinarily telling. Okay, 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 okay. We'll buy ourselves a new set of weapons afterwards. Oh, whoop. Okay, we gotta get in and actually pick up the experience for it to be relevant, though, of course. Obviously, I knew this was dangerous. Don't get me wrong. I'm well aware of what I did. I just I just trust that I can handle it, you know? Like, I, I'm a I'm a big enough brotato gamer <laughs> that I can make it happen. I'm setting myself up for failure. If, if you can't tell, I'm like, I'm trying to trying to kind of set it up for a funny haha -ha moment where he says he's gonna do great and he dies but apparently i am just i am just good enough to have done it okay great <laughs> well never mind a little bit of dodge is not the worst a little bit of luck will go far too sad onion like i honestly yeah w was it worth it no not not even a little but hey look at that uh i'll take an 
Hmm. It might be it's like sad tomato might be the play. Ah. <laughs> sure. All right. Here we go. We've got a whole bunch of random garbage now. Curious what level we'll be able to make it up to. Like, obviously we don't get any real effects out of the experience gain anymore. Uh, it's not particularly relevant at this moment. Obviously, I wish Bean Teacher showed up earlier, but I can't just make that happen. We're level 25, which I think is a it's a pretty substantial level for this game. And it's really showing, you know, we 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 made an absurd cell play there. Like, on this character, that play is, like, even dumber. And we did it anyways, and we lived. So, I think that that's pretty telling. All right, we got the high luck as well. If we want anything to get ourselves, like, a little bit of a uh, HP upgrade on the ground. We got to be focusing on ooh, micro movements here. Try and go and pick those up. Curse my pickup range. I wish it was even smaller somehow there. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking like a win. This is looking looking like a win here. And obviously we're gonna try it, we're gonna try a second run, like I mentioned, right after. Where we focus a little bit more on uh, on the experience, hopefully, if we can. Almost almost level 25. I feel like that's not that um, that wildly impressive. But that being said, there we go. There's a, a mutant twin. I'll tell you what. If we want to be impressed, I would say a winning with a fist run when you are not the brawler is a pretty good sign. Because the brawler makes it, honestly, like really easy. The brawler is honestly one of the easier characters, in my opinion. Um, when you go full fist, everything like that. So we will start with the luck. Obviously, like that shows up, I'll take it. I'll take the armor. Like I'll take coffee when it shows up. I'm not I'm not gonna lock for hunting trophy or anything. It also helps that um, fists are one of the cheaper items to begin with. So maybe this is actually a, a secretly powerful angle. Who knows? Fists are relatively cheap. But we did that with, uh, what? It was one rocket launcher and a bunch of commons. So, like, obviously, look, rocket launcher is very good. It's obviously very, very good, but that was only made possible because of the obscene stats as well. Uh, I will take melee damage, a little bit of luck, a little bit of attack speed, a little bit of attack speed. Sure. Again, hyper rolling just for any fists that we can find for now. We need things for our stats to be applied to, you know? Like, you can have the best damage in the world, but if you don't have any weapons to do that damage, or you have one weapon that attacks every 10 seconds, guess what? Doesn't matter how much damage you're doing, it's, it's irrelevant. Whoop. Okay, we're getting good level ups, good level ups. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Trying to risk it for a little bit of a biscuit. Did I get some of that? I got some of that. Uh, ugly tooth, sure, I, I will take that. Melee damage, sure. A little muscly dude, it's expensive. It's very, it's like, it's good. Like, I, I would be happy to have it, but it's just not, not in the carts. Nine damage on that. We have no, uh, yeah, we have no regen. We gotta be careful. No regen, meaning we are exclusively relying on luck drops, which is not good. <laughs> not good when you, well, eh, we have, we have 32 luck. So maybe it's fine. But again, as I always say, luck is a luck is a it is a survivability stat as well as just a good stat all around for just making your run stronger. But it's not a good stat to rely on for your exclusive regeneration. Unless you have a build so so strong 
that you kill everything before you could possibly get hit anyways. All right, let's... We're taking enough damage. Let's stop. Just, you gotta get in, in and get a little bit dangerous, a little bit close. Ooh, percent damage or luck. Let's go for the luck early and hope that another percent damage shows up. How about that? How about that? I meet you there. Oh. Uh, you know what? No. You know what? No. Obviously, I could. It's very expensive. I want to find some experience items. Like, I want to see what we can do. Just predominantly strength through experience. Obviously, the uh, like an epic fist would be great. It would cost 300 bucks. I'd rather just um, see if we can use a little bit of more of our money for rerolls, try and get some experience items early while they're still like a little bit more relevant. Obviously, the earlier we get them, the better they are, and they're just not showing up early. Like, that's the that's the downside of you know doing things in a in a very uh, honest, clean way, where it's like I I'm uploading you know my first genuine real like my first real attempts here. You're seeing me do this challenge for the first time, and sometimes the stuff doesn't quite show up. And we'll modify it. We'll tweak it a bit. We'll see what we can do. But if it doesn't show up, it doesn't show up. But you can rest uh, assured that you know you're getting the real, honest first playthrough of it. You know, let's get more harvesting. There we go. Scar. Nice. Like, uh, sure. Uh, sure. I don't have any crit chance. So this is huge. In fact, mastery is good too. Do I lock for it? I'll, I'll say yes since we have an empty slot still. Because we do need, we need like a little bit of, a little bit of zest. That being said, that's about as a, it's a, it's, a, it's as effective as a, an epic stat upgrade, I guess, from leveling up, which is pretty noticeable. That being said, again, a reminder, you don't have to pay money for a stat upgrade from uh, levels. S cannot be forgotten at, an at any point of this. They are freaking free. Oh my word, I need some survivability. This dodge coming from the, uh, the fist set bonus is not cutting it. That was some good fancy feet action there. That as well, good. Dodging from behind the health bar, baby. Okay. I'd screw that item. Why not? Fine. Range is interesting. Tempted. Not as tempted as just taking more damage, though. Cool. Cool. I'm going to lock for Alien Tongue. It feels thematic. Doing 30 now. Again, predominantly from uh, XP upgrades. Like, we have items, obviously, but less than we normally would. Doing 36 on the punch or so. I'd say that's 30. Yeah, 30. 36, I guess, is the, the rare one. The blue one. i say this is solid, though. This is solid. Again, considering we're not the brawler who will make a, a punch run look godly. Like, pretty much all of the damage up that we have gotten over the course of this run, almost, uh, the brawler just starts with it if you're using fists. It, I think it taints the... Uh, and by taints, I mean it accidentally glows up the image of the fist weapon. Like, it makes it look like the fist weapon is uh, is not not too bad, but it's a pretty weak weapon. It's a relatively pretty weak weapon. Brawler's just very good. Eight dodge, like, I can. It's, a, it's Dodge is a fine stat when you have... Like, I'll take it for free, I guess. Um, 12% is not that much right now. But actually, it's almost... I think it's almost a break-even. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. Because it gives us like uh, 
three-ish damage. And that means that the if we get another three damage upgrade or whatever, more flat damage upgrades, that will become better. Like, if you're getting the same amount of damage from the percentage and the flat, then you go percentage, because percentage scales. Otherwise, it's a little tricky. Oof, this is... I, I would not classify this as uh, very strong at the moment. Oh my god, the bullets. I can't. I can't with them. Oi, oi, oi. Fists do be doing their thing, which is not much. Oh my word. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Get the level up. Okay, level 19. Fine. Dodge, I could. Now I'll go for melee damage. Yes, I'll go for attack speed. Those are going to be huge. XP gain with a range down. Yes. Try and find another while we still can get more value out of it. Uh, fine. I shouldn't have done that extra roll. I just, I'm curious at this point. 38, 44. Yeah, the percent damage. It's solid enough. It's solid enough. It's solid enough. The attack speed is doing a little bit of wonders. We got a little bit of a range down with the experience upgrade, which we have, you know, the Brotato scientists have done the work and have told us that does indeed make you attack faster if you have a lower attack range, despite what people seem to seem to think. I, I, people still arguing it back and forth. And man, it's um, it is the eternal debate, is it not? It just will not. Nobody will accept a conclusive result at this point. And thus, it makes me not sure about it either. But I'll say it sure as hell seemed, it really seemed true, that when we have a lower range, we attack faster. It seemed conclusive to me. So I will say, uh, we'll, we'll keep on thinking about it like it will be conclusive. Uh, give me a reroll. Sure. Sure. Damage armor. I mean, I, like, I could take glass can. I could, but I'd rather not. Disappointment. Again, we're not really looking for any of these. Uh, will I take muscly, dude? Sure. Not looking to be carried by items. We're looking to be carried by stats from the experience. So that's why I'm totally okay with doing a lot of rolls there. I want, I want to be as uh, as honest to it as I can, but it's kind of weird because it's an ambiguous challenge in a way. It's ambiguous, but I'm trying to make the best of it, I'm trying to not go overkill, especially since we already did the run where we allowed ourselves to take the rocket launcher, which, I don't know, we had to spend so much money on it. I feel like it's honestly not even an unfair um, thought. You know, we paid 50% we paid extra on an already wildly expensive item to pick up that the rocket launcher, so I really don't think that that's that stupid. Or unfair. Oop, to the challenge. Tunnel vision in here. Okay. Blah. I don't have any crit chance. Luck. Oh. Well, I deserve that. I'll take Cyclops rooms, though. So, sure. The fists have a really high knockback. Which is keeping them from, like... It, I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's really beneficial and also... Sort of rough if we want to try and keep up multiple attacks on the same unit. We have to kind of follow them a little bit, which can be a little bit dicey. So far, so fine, though. A dan it's been a dangerous run, and we're making fists work. We're making it work, designers. Oh, my God. The bullet boys. The bane of the freaking punch run. Always, man. Always. The bullet boys. Get out of here, man. Die. 
Die, 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 die. Tunnel vision on him. Literally run the right through the middle just to go for them. Take what I can. Obviously, we missed a chunk. Uh, luck is good, but is it that big of a deal on the final wave? I... Y y this is the second... I, I can't believe that this is a real thing. Why have I only... Like, I've seen... This is the second time I've seen this. I can't believe it. We gotta... Okay, we gotta... <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, they're mythical. They're absolutely mythical. Uh, <laughs> you could play for like, I, I played this for the, the demo for 37 hours now. I played for 37 hours and I've seen it twice. And I'm pretty sure they were both on the runs where I was going for high experience gain. So, what does that say? I mean, I think it says that I don't know. It's fun. It's a fun build to go for. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. You give me the crit chance, the chance to do a crit that does 45 damage instead of 44. Oh my god. But mostly I was taking that for the flat one because what we re-roll, we re-roll re there. Uh, we're not going to have enough money to buy anything, but... Oh my god, we got like... Yeah, we have 11, uh, 11 HP regen out of nowhere then. Largely just from... Uh, you can almost even argue that the um, the sad tomato was due to our stats as well, because we got that from a crate, which could have just showed up because of a, uh, a luck drop. So, all, honestly, for all intents and purposes, like, anything we got for free out of a crate almost could be considered a stat related thing as well like you can make an argument at the very least like i don't know if it's a great argument but you could make an argument and uh yeah unless we unless we get bursted down we're not dying like unless it all ha we get hit like 10 times in a second which could happen we're not going to die from like chip damage we have 11 hp regen now because of because of our experience because of our extra stats made it to level 26 there. Ooh, that was a little sketchy. Oh, we actually might die. You know what? I think we do the corner strats. They're actually really effective with fists. If you have low range, fast attack speed. That was it. Yeah, that was a last moment pivot. Oh, I think we need to get out. Maybe not. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're fine. Great. We did it. We did it again. Uh, so that's two for two. The last one was obviously a little bit sketchier than the first one. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, we had the, the extra scars there. We got up one extra level, 26. I I imagine you can definitely make it higher than that. But, uh, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you get lucky enough, you could get it up to, like, uh, level 30 or something early on. Maybe, you know what? The rarity of the stats probably increases as your level increases as well. Like, so maybe that's what it is. It's like that item, the the epic or like, no, the, like the, the legendary stat upgrade. Maybe it can only show up at a certain level. Like, uh, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Because that would explain why we've only seen it on the mutant. That would explain that for sure. Because otherwise you'd think... We would just get it on a really high luck run, but like maybe it literally can't show up until a certain round or a, cer uh, a certain level. That would be something. That'd be interesting. But alas, alas, when the, the full game is out and um, there are 20 waves in the game, I, I believe that is still the plan. Uh, when there's 20 waves in the game, we'll probably end up seeing that on runs that are not just mutant runs. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. This has been Brotato. Again, if you have any suggestions you want me to do, leave them in the comment section down below. Like all the videos that... Or, like all the videos. I mean, hey, do that too. Like all the videos. Uh, the Brotato videos. But like all the comments for uh, suggestions that you would like to watch a video out of. That's what I meant to say. If you have interest in Brotato modding, I will link Jonas's guide in the description. Otherwise, go to Jonas's channel linked in the description. He has a video on Brotato modding. If you have mods that you make that do something interesting, have like a unique character uh, that you would like to see me play, let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do. 
yeah, probably probably join my Discord if you're if you've got a mod that you like me to play. I would assume I would suggest joining my Discord. It'd probably be the best way of actually getting a hold of me. Uh, link for that in the channel description as well, or the uh, video description. Thank you for watching, though. This has been Brotato. Check out the channel for Rogue Likes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.